Okay, let me start this video with saying thank you. I've never expected this channel to grow so much and to reach 1 million views. I know that it's just a number and it's not that big comparing to, you know, big YouTube channels. But if you think that 1 million people watch all the videos, it's crazy. Thank you guys for every single comment under the videos. Thank you for all the support I get. There are some big changes coming to the channel and to what are we doing and how we're doing it. Um, and the biggest one of them all is that we are switching to English. And you may ask why. Well, basically, I checked the statistics on YouTube and apparently um, only like 20% people that watch us are from Poland, from this country. And all the rest of you guys are from UK, from United States, from Japan, from Germany. So all you people from another countries can uh, understand the videos and can enjoy more the content that we create. Okay, that's enough talking. It's been six months since I shot a uh, Miata update video. Uh, last time it was in December, I think. So let's see what the car has been through uh, these last six months. It's raining pretty bad, so we are under this big uh, bridge. The car has not been changed uh, inside pretty much since last time, but outside, as you can see, comparing to last video, it's been through a lot. So let's start with the wheels. I got the new set of wheels. They are Japan racing, so nothing fancy, but they pretty much have Watanabe style. Um, but comparing to Watanabe, they're very, very cheap. So the wheels are 15 by nine, and that's not the problem. The problem was that the wheels are minus 13 offset. So they are really sticking out of the body. You can't see it now properly because the body has been through a lot as well, but um, they were really sticking out of the stock body. So what I did is I, I extended the lower arms so I got more negative camber. Also, I extended the front panels here so they can fit uh, wider wheels. Well, it's not perfect, but it does the job. So it looks like this. Okay, and with the rear, the rear ones, it's been a lot of troubles to fit those wheels. And um, so what we did is we did some fabrication, some welding, and uh, the body is now wider. It's about maybe like two, three inches on one side. The body covers the wheel perfectly now. I'm not entirely happy with the angle of the, of the rear panels now, um, but yeah, it does the job. It's pretty legal to drive like this, so it's cool. Uh, another change is at the back of the car, as you can see, a clear, clear lights. There's a lot of controversy about those lights. I like them more, I think they fit uh, to the whole car. And there's this one as well. We didn't plan this change, obviously, but um, um, I smashed the barrier with the rear of the car. As you can see, exhaust uh, got hit. The bumper body uh, is not that bad. I'm not gonna fix it any soon because I'm still learning how to drive this car. Uh, it's very small, very short and it doesn't make a lot of power so you need to drive aggressively. I don't think there's point to fix it and then smash it again and then fix it again. Okay, under the hood is pretty much the same as it was. 1.8 BVTi, uh, about 146 horsepower. But yeah, this engine will go out soon and then we will put something else, something for big boys. I have to finish this video at home because it got really noisy right there. Um, guys, what do you think about this switch to English? Does it make sense or not? Uh, please let me know in the comments. I read every comment, I reply to the comments. So if you have any questions regarding the car or if you have any questions about the gear I use, the, the, all the video stuff. Also, there's new stuff coming. As you can see, the hoodies, uh, t-shirts, stickers, there's new designs. All of that coming really soon so if you want to be ready for the new merch go on instagram i will use instagram stories to announce a new drop so you can all be ready for that thanks again for watching and i'll see you in another video ciao